I'm Gilbert Moody, and uh, I'm coming to do the Bible reading. And uh, maybe you could rise up. Uh, the book will be from the book of John, chapter 5, from verse 1 to 16. John, chapter 5, from, from verse 1 to 16. Are we there? Okay, let me start. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there is in Jerusalem, near the sheep get a pool, which Aramaic is called Bethsida, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, he learned that he had been in this condition for a long time. He asked him, do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm, while I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which he took place, this took place was a Sabbath. And so the Jewish leader said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, The man who made me well said to me, Pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, Who is this fellow who told you to pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea who it was, for Jesus had slipped away into the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him, at the temple and said to him, See, you are well again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had made him well. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Appreciate, Brother Moody. Can I tell you something? You are growing. Wana kubarik sana. Good morning. Buana sifiwe. Let's appreciate our band. Let's, let's do it differently. Yule mwanaumu angoma pale, drums. Pigie ni makofi. Yule kijana pale wa bass guitar. Pigie ni makofi. Safari mwenyewe. <laughs> Above all, Bernard. Why am I saying this? I saw Bernard. Ni Bernard ama ni Bernard. Whatever. <laughs> he grew from the high school. He yet to a high school. He used to be I feel the CEO chairman and now see what he's doing. And of course, they're seeing us to a pigian Markov. You may have your seats. Pastor Victor, most of the time I'm scared to say I work in the finance office. Kulingana na vile dollar in Aendelea. So, without much ado, may I appreciate my wife, Ajaombe. Uh, thank you. Good morning, church. Uh, my name is Jemima, as you've heard. I'm a Jemima, a Kimeu, and I'm saved. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, it's another wonderful day, Jehovah. We come before you, yearning to hear from you, seeking your face, O Jehovah. Father, we are so, so grateful that you've given us a chance to fellowship together, my Father, in your sanctuary. As your word says, where two or three gather together in your name, you shall be there. Father, we can feel your presence and we are so, so grateful. I'm praying for thy servant who is standing in front of you, my Father. Speak through him, my Father, so that a soul today may hear from you and get saved. Father, help us, forgive us, and it is in Jesus' name I pray. 
appreciate. Yeah, yeah if you don't do that, naza kasirika na niache kubiri. Without much ado, John chapter 5, tumesomeo hapo lakini let's just look a few things there. Verse 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now they are in Jerusalem by the sheep, gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew, Bethesda, having five porches. In there lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. Verse 4. NIV favorites, I'm sorry. Your, that verse is not there. Quite NIV. So, check with somebody else. When Gita Liko a Jew, Meona, come on, Mutu NIV in other Bibles, verse 4 is busy. So, what can you do For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and steered up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the steering of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. I had also a problem with the verse 4. Some Bibles say an angel. Others say an angel of the Lord. Which should I use? By the way, I had to pray. Could you release which version it translate this properly? Because some Bibles in Asema, an angel of the Lord, others in Asema, an angel. An angel could be anything. An angel of the Lord is something totally different. So, there's something shocking in this story. We are told at the pool lay a great multitude. Should I say in our terms a crusade? Hello? Of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, doing what? Waiting for the moving of the water. My goodness. I see a shakahola scenario here. I see a church typical to a shakahola. When the church is spiritually blind, when the church is spiritually paralyzed, when the church is spiritually lame, you end up with a shakahola scenario. Pastor Encho, my phrasing. Kula mtu alishtuka na iyo. Aki type notes. Pastor Angel used to come and steer the water. And only one person out of the great multitude could get healed. See you? Okay, okay, okay. What are you doing? Because no you. 
Eh. Hey, I can see kama mkono hapa na pale. <laughs> what is your aim? Do you use could you how many people are there in a great multitude? What kind of it in calculus, integration, combination, permutation? Great multitude in what one gap. Let's visualize in a crusade. So, Pastor Angel used to come steer the water and whoever went there got healed. What about the rest of the multitude? I wish this 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 someone was supposed to be preached wakati hiyo kitu ilikuwa inaendelea lakini mpaka sasa inaendelea. And people were asking Hanya watu kwa kosha kaola ni nini mbaya We can ask the same question here What was wrong with these guys Out of multitude only one person gets healed Na tunaambiwa haikuwa kila siku haikuwa kila saa It was a certain time and some bibles wana sema at certain seasons Acha twende haraka To avoid this shakaola thing nimejaribu ku ku summarize kitu ya kwanza focus unto Jesus kama unataka ku avoid this shakaola thing kuna mali nilisoma <laughs> wameandika list ya yeah, about about 60 items how to detect a cult means you put in the 60 i'm giving you only four focus unto jesus and there is a very interesting verse here verse 6 when jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition for a long time he said to him do you want to be made well hiyo nasikia hiyo najua umesoma mara mingi but mine is the first phrase when jesus saw him Hmm. Where is Jesus? At the pool. When did he come? I don't know. But he must have been there for quite some time. He must have been there for quite some time. But the multitude where was the focus of the multitude this is what you should know and ask yourself jesus being there still their focus was at the pool waiting who pastor who <laughs> sometimes you can play games in the church we think we are waiting for jesus a crowd Now, then I, i in my thinking is jesus alisema wacha nishtoe hii crowd kidogo wacha nishtoe hii crusade kidogo then one he said he saw one wacha niwashtue kidogo shida yako nini oh 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 kulikuwa na kukakua eh unataka kupona ai eh yeah, eh yeah, yeah. you see the akili bado ilikuwa kwa nini kwa pool and pastor who atakujua yesu wako hapa then 
he was made well. The focus of the whole multitude, Germany, at our corner, miracle, they were still focusing on where? The poor. Focus unto Jesus. Number two. I have a problem with Pastor Angel. He should have directed the multitude to who? Amen. Jesus. Pastor Angel should have directed the multitude where? To Jesus. But unfortunately, maajabu. Kuna kate chisti moja tulikuwa nae kwa jeshi. Najua ni mukamba. Angweza kusewa maajabu. Alikuwa nasewa maajabu. Maajabu. The king is here. The president is here. But the ministers are absent. Pastor Enchi walikuwa nasavu nani? Who was he serving? If Jesus can be in the scene and he is nowhere to be seen, who was he serving? Then a big question mark who is this Pastor Angel? A big question mark. Business yake ni nini? Shakahola thing. Shekaola catastrophe. When the church becomes blind spiritually, paralyzed spiritually, you don't see, you don't hear, you don't think. Now, let's have a contrast, Kidoko. Mark 1. Four to five. Mark one, four to five. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sin. And all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to join to him and were all baptized in the Jordan River confessing their sin. Umekamata iyo? Umekamata iyo? Iko kwa screen, ya. Yeah. Tuende John 1. John 1, 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and he said, my goodness, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away what? John is directing the multitude where? Pastor Angel is directing people where? Hello? Sangina Biblia ni when you get a revelation, so sweet. Multitude, a river, water, and Pastor John. Multitude, water, Pastor Angel. Compare and John, Machi, Ilikoa ya Kubatiza. And when Jesus came, Aliambia watu, behold the Lamb of God. Who does what? Thus, if you want to avoid 
the Shakola scenario. You should know this. Pastor Angel should have pointed the people to Jesus. Number three, be in the spirit. Ama, walk in the spirit. Galatians 3, very common scripture. Oh, you foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you that you should obey? You should not obey the truth. Whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. You who? Ah, mbona ngini amtaka kusema bwana. Tisome Biblia kwa taka mauta kusoma. You who? You know, <laughs> when you talk of being a fool, foolish, a fool in the Bible is different from a fool in the contemporary world. Contemporary world, you are not in the Bible. Na sana sana ni, ni shule. If you didn't do well in school, you are a what? Not in the Bible. <laughs> so when Paul is telling the Galatians, you fools, he's not saying that they did not go to school. He's telling them verse 3. This is what he's telling them. Are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Be in the spirit. Sometimes it's an assumption we are in the spirit. Sometimes ago, I was driving. I make a read in you know, a music, gospel music, like in Sauti Kidogo. Then suddenly, I find myself, pastor, Nikimba, twisting the pendulangu, oh, pendulangu la moyoni. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's a safari Then, like sugar, hey, pastor, unaimba wimbo gani? In fact, I was shocked because that song, the last time Lisikia, I was in class four or five, sixties. Wakati zilizopendwa kina kabaka, I was still singing. Nani kifikirisha baba na kujia wasjana wakale, walini chesia vizuri sana. Wow, wow. Hey, now, 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 now. <laughs> Na nika jishuku sana. Nikaanza kujishuku. Recently, tulikuwa tunayenda kisi. Then another brother. Brother. Tulikuwa kwa van kubwa wenki. Na because our pastor nikapatiwa the front seat. And this brother anaweka franco. Ujua, 
zile nyimbo za frango from here tunakuru mabutu sese siku now umecheka this is a signal you are not in the sijasema hujaokoka but this is a signal that you are not in the spirit and this is what paul was telling the galatians you began in the spirit you began with do na kuabudu na sasa unaimba nini signal it is a signal hata sikusikia pastor amesema nini kaloleni is a signal is it really signals na kuambia Hey, hey, you are not in the spirit and this is just one area of music now to your amazement munaweza fikiri shakahola walikuwa wabaya a church can begin where in the spirit but drift where in the flesh Now who is the church? You can begin in the spirit but end up where? And in that state this is why Paul is saying you become foolish. Masomo uko nayo pole kwa hiyo. And is dangerous in the church a church in the flesh you can begin having very elaborate programs but dry going nowhere just pleasing the world you can have very technical things very philosophical things but doing them in the flesh shakahola could be gone in the spirit but drift so that's why you should keep yourself healthy through reading the word of god refresh yourself worship praise prayer thanksgiving na moja moja watu maybe you tutakuja ongea one time fasting ha anyway wacha nikuokoe na fasting to pray worship <laughs> give thanksgiving um you'll be keeping you'll be spiritually healthy number four, develop an analytical mind Genesis 1:26 The Bible tells us you and me we are image of who we are not robots And do you know everything is in you only you need to trigger it you need to jump start it try to reason with issues try to ask questions try to be logical in circumstances and try to be analytical in the things that you do and what you see we have a susan this is a girl in class 4 in you live which school and they are being taught maths and i really love primary teachers 
Wa secular ni sawa. Lakini second we are dealing with adults. Then the lesson was three oranges plus two oranges is equal to five oranges. Class, repeat after me. Three oranges plus to me ile lugha ya mwalimu bwana. Ongea kama mwalimu hapa. Then mwalimu aka spot Susan. Susan, repeat after me. And Susan was very good. Three oranges plus two oranges is equal to five oranges. Aha. And that kept ringing in Susan as she went home. Three oranges plus two oranges is equal to five. So at home, the father comes. Yes, Susan, how was your day? Good, daddy. Ah, what did you learn in school? Oh, daddy, we learned three oranges plus two oranges is equal to very good. Then Susan, now tell me, three bananas plus two bananas? And Susan is there, no, 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 no. Teacher did not teach us about bananas. He only taught us about <laughs> analytical mind. Kuna watu <laughs> wako na ukipita gigabytes naitwa nini? Tetrabytes ama zinaitwa ni whatever. Ani anaweza kusomea kitabu jia na ku duplicate ukimuuliza. But twist swali kidogo tu. Kuna watu wamesoma as long as unamuliza what the book iko kivyo hivyo tu yes lakini mu twist kidogo kuisha nakwambia hiyo kitabu nilisoma haikusema nini shakaola this is what happens shakaola these people are not reasoning they are not logical they are not asking questions and they are not analytical Okay, you may simplify it. They say the five W's technique plus an H. Simple. Kit you to Uliza, why? Why is it happening? Why did it happen? When did it happen? Who was there when it happened? What caused it to happen? You develop. Is the vitu ziko huko ndani? And how did it happen? John 1, last scripture, verse 19. Some people were sent to John. Kumuliza who you are. And in 19, aziko zote, naona tu, verse 19 nasema, uh, they asked him, who are you? Verse 21, what then? What then are you doing here? 22, who are you? And 22 again, what do you, do you say about yourself? Verse 25, why then do you baptize? Develop an analytical mind. And you will avoid this cultic thing. Otherwise, to turns in the spirit end up in the flesh and end up in Shakahola blaming Mackenzie. <laughs> By the way, who was to blame? Mackenzie ama the congregation? Hmm? All of them. Mackenzie shared blame. The congregation shared what? Buana Sefiwe? 
Sema tuombe. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for this wonderful con- congregation. Father, may your word be imparted into their souls, to their hearts, to their spirits. So, Father, help us to always walk in the spirit, to always be in spirit, that we may not fulfill the desires of the flesh. To same makusa yetu, to jazia maitaji yetu, wale tukuna maitaji, wana endelea kuwa na sisi, endelea kutupenda, na kutujaza, uwepo wako uwe juu yetu, wachene lako likafanya kazi yake, wa utukufu wako. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's appreciate him one more time. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So what do we do when you hear Kaloleni on the radio? <laughs> it's a good time to check yourself. All right? So I just want to share this verse, um, Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. It says, this is what the Lord said, Cast is the one who trusts in man, who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart turns away from the Lord. Amen. Th- take this message with you, even as you're being shepherded and guided. Remember, never put your trust in a man, but let those men lead you to the one true God with whom you have an everlasting relationship with. Amen. So at this point in time, we thank God for the message. Uh, we want to remind you that there is a men's meeting and the women's meeting today. But first up, uh, we have visitors who uh, joined us today for the first time. We want to give you the first opportunity to exit through that middle door where it says visitors go through here. We also have a hospitality team that is eager to meet with you. If you have a child in the children's sanctuary, please go and pick them and uh, please go ahead and enjoy some snacks so that we can get to know you more. So please do that even as we share. But to all of you, may the Lord bless you. Amen. May he be your anchor. May he be your guide, your provider. May your ears be attentive to him and may you hear him as he leads you and as he guides you. For it is in Jesus' name we do pray. And everybody say amen and amen. See you next week. We love you. Amen. Amen.